Yeah, yesterday I was out snowshoeing myself a little bit and one thing I noticed from last time to this time is the addition of snowshoes makes hiking that much easier. I don't know how people used to do it back in the day. I'm joined now by Troy Henderson, the historian here at the Michigan Iron Industry Museum. Troy, how did people back then get around from place to place and when did the advent of snowshoes come into play? Well, historians can't really determine when exactly snowshoes came into play, but certainly the Native Americans in North America probably uh, had uh, primitive snowshoes, perhaps even just as simple as a stick tied to a, a shoe. Uh, but they really perfected snowshoes in North America, and it's interesting to um, note the different varieties of snowshoes that evolve based on the different terrain in North America. Okay, and I know this weekend you have something coming up where people can try to make some of their own and, and see how the, the process goes. So can you tell us a little bit about that and show us a little bit of the process? Yeah, uh, this Saturday and Sunday we'll be having a two-day workshop here at the museum um, uh, on snowshoe lacing. And in this case we'll be lacing a Green Mountain Bear Paw snowshoe variety, which is this here with no tails. Um, um, so it, this snowshoe is really designed for more mobility in the woods with no tails um, and an easy turnaround radius. Uh, the only thing that would need to be done here is have the uh, ends trimmed, but when people take the workshop, this is essentially what they're going to go home with, uh, a laced pair of snowshoes uh, that they will just have to varnish uh, on their own when they get home and put the bindings on. And, and how do people get involved in this weekend snowshoeing event? It's Saturday and Sunday um, from 9 to 4, and uh, registration is required, and uh, the deadline is tomorrow, actually, on Tuesday. Uh, so if they're interested in the workshop, uh, I'd urge them to call the museum, 475-7857, uh, uh, or look online. There's registration forms and more information online. Okay. So this weekend, you know, there's a great opportunity to get out and see how snowshoes are made so that you can use your own on the trail. I know from personal experience it can be very helpful. So come on, stop by, see Troy, and he'll show you how to get things done.